guys to another episode of uh, Kill Shot Outdoors. I'm your host Nick Peterson and today we are trapping for coons. Um, I'm going to be using these dog proof coon traps. Um, this is a little grizz. These are made for trapping coons when you have dogs running around or uh, trapping in a haymow where you got cats and stuff and these are a really nice uh, trap for catching coons. They're pretty expensive, they're about 15 bucks a piece, uh, but um, like a dozen or 115. And then for bait, I'll be using one of my famous, well not famous, um, one of my homemade baits. And then I will be staking it in with a piece of quarter inch rebar with a thick washer welded to the top. And I'll get to what the tinfoil is when we get to that point. So what you first want to do is take your trap and I already have it set. Take your trap, take the end piece, this D, put that through the rebar, and pick any spot and pound her in. Pound her in there pretty good. Now I got it in there pretty good, so no coons getting out. So then let's set it somewhere like right there. Cover up the chain, some leaves around it. Don't make it look like it's meant where somebody placed it. Just kind of build up some leaves or put a stick there. Put some leaves around it so it looks natural. So it looks suspicious to them. You don't have to, but that's what I like to do. And then I'll be taking my bait, which is some uh, oats and uh, some molasses, some tuna, uh, some licorice flavoring. There's all kinds of sorts, some sardines, all kinds of stuff in here. It smells pretty good. I take something to scoop it out a little bit and put it in your trap. I like to fill it up all the way up to the trigger or a little, a little above the trigger there. Then sometimes I'll take a little bit, my spoon, and then dribble it around the trap so it gives the trap some smell and you just put the cap back on clean your spoon off with a leaf and fold it back up then tin foil that's what I like to do I'll take a uh, nice Oh, two by two square uh, tin foil. And I'll put it over the trap like so. The reason is for that. Uh, so, um, mice, I've had problems with mice before. And I just put that on there and the mice can't get it and steal your bait. And also, it gives the trap a little flash. And coons love flashiness. So that's what I like to do. It tracks them a little bit. Then you just take a stake or some type of stick and poke a couple holes in it so the scent can come out. And then there you have it. A dog proof trap. Well, for another way you can use a golf ball. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's a nice easy way for a coon trap. I will tune back into you tomorrow. When I come out and check them, I'm going to go uh, set all my other ones. I got about five more in the backpack there, and uh, I'll get back to you later.